What's happening, Sumo Links? Today, I'm gonna be putting some AppSumo tools to the test. You already know I'm Jay from AppSumo, the leading digital marketplace for entrepreneurs, and we put out killer tools to level up your business almost daily. Today's video is all about diving into some of your favorite tools of the moment and finding out for ourselves just how good they really are. Let me know in the comments what AppSumo tool you've been loving lately, and let's take our first tool for a spin. First up, we're checking out Appley. This is the easiest to use no-code app builder on the market right now. Having an app that looks great but is also effective and user-friendly can cost tens of thousands of dollars. And if you're anything like me and the team here at AppSumo, you're not looking to spend that kind of cash on an app. We're trying to build a business here. So let's see what Appley can do for us without breaking the bank. Okay, so here we are on the home page dashboard of Appley, AKA the app builder. So right now you can see my applications right here. I don't have any because I haven't made any yet, but I'm gonna try to make one right now. Is it possible? I don't know. You can also see here, now this is all a demo. They even show you this page is currently displaying demo data. Data, data, how do you say it? Let me know in the comments. Basically, if I did have an app, it would show total visits, total installs. Uh, it would show you a graph of visits based on month iOS versus Android and your top installs. You know, if you have a bunch of apps, you can see and your top visits, you can see how they're doing. So now let's see, we want to create a new application. Application name. We're going to call this the water app. Okay, create. I've never done this before. So let's see if this is simple. I'm not a coder, but I'm an earnest young man who's looking to create an app and make some money from it. Okay, so after a short generating period, we are in our new app. So we find ourselves at the beginning of this app creation journey. Again, no coding needed. Let's see how easy this is. So we can choose a template right off the bat, which probably is the easiest way to go about it. So I'm creating a hypothetical water app, and basically I'm gonna say that this is, what are we gonna call this? Barbershop, these are all cool. So these are examples of like businesses. Um, and is anything catching my eye for my water app? Yes, a food directory. So I'm gonna click on this. If you validate your app's colors and backgrounds, the image will be replaced. Okay, boom. We're gonna do this template called food directory because I'm going to have a directory of all the sparkling water and water that I like. Okay, so this is sweet. Here is now our dashboard and this is gonna be an editor right here. This is gonna show users, promotion messages, analytics, things like that, all right here, super simple. So you have your design, colors, features, application. Okay, you have the overlay right here is gonna show you what the app looks like on something like an iPhone. Okay, right away I'm super excited about this. Uh, so let's go back to design. So as you can see, there's an overwhelming amount of colors, but that's because there's so many sections of an app. There's general, the homepage, the headers, cards, spinners, buttons, all that kind of stuff. But know that you can go through here and meticulously change all of these colors to your brand colors. So basically we picked a template uh, to create an app. Again, there's plenty of templates to choose from. You go in here, so you can see your layout options, you can see where you're putting your titles, the title case, you can change the layout, you can change your design, and there's a section right here that has uh, all the different places. So if you wanna say, oh, I want my spinners to be a different color, you have your iOS spinner background and your Android spinner background. So that's super cool. Uh, and then you go to features, and this is gonna be obviously very important. It's gonna be the actual features of your app. So we're using a template um, that hopefully has a lot of the things that we want for whatever app we're creating. So right here, look at this, this is amazing. You can have, so already in this template, I have how to use the app, so like an information button, uh, directory, events, my best eat, but this is all customizable. So let's say instead I want to add a catalog. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna add to app. So, and it also shows you if you're adding a page. This is where you can do that. You can add a catalog and then it's gonna get a little bit complicated here, but again, no coding. So. Yeah, this is gonna take you some time, but it's gonna be so intuitive to someone, again, like me, who doesn't have a technical background in coding. Okay, so now it's updating and it's showing you must eats, video gallery, important links, food map, loyalty cards. Now this is all stuff in your app. And again, we're seeing our pages right here. So we can add, we can take away uh, whatever we want on this app we can have. And, and again, look at all these things, links, inbox, in-app messages, loyalty cards. I mean, I'm, I'm actually kind of blown away by this. It's no code. 
I could have an app up and running probably by the end of the day if I put my head down for a couple hours and just focus on whatever I wanted to build and then boom, we're live. And you can make sales from this app. You can, you can generate ad revenue. You can do some really crazy stuff. The features section is, it's mind boggling what you can create here without, again, any sort of knowledge of code. So I hope this is showing you how amazing Appley could be if you want to create an app and you don't have any coding experience. I mean, again, I'm so floored by how simple this is. I mean, it's going to take time. It's definitely, there's a lot going on in the sense that you need to put in work if you want to create an app. But on a very basic level, again, a couple hours of work and you could have your own app ready to go without any coding. This is a, this is a fantastic app builder. Again, especially for people who are trying to save time and money. You don't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars hiring uh, engineers, coders, uh, designers to build you an app. You can spend a long weekend creating an app for your business that can generate ad revenue, awareness, income, whatever you need right here in Appley, this app builder. I love this. I'm gonna to try to create my own app now. I'm inspired. Really recommend this to any Sumo Ling who needs an app for their business. Now let's take a look at Soundpiece, the AI music generator that'll help you create fully customizable, yes, yes. customizable, customizable. royalty-free tracks in seconds. Now, royalty-free music can be one of the most frustrating parts of content creation. Trust me, I know. You have to find the right music that doesn't cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars, and frankly, it can be exhausting. So let's see if Soundpiece has a solution here. Okay, right off the bat, we come to Soundpiece's homepage, and you see the mission is simple, create a song. So let's have a little bit of fun and demonstrate what this software does. So let's say I'm looking for a certain type of song that I wanna create for background music, for a video, content, anything of that sort. So we'll start with song. So we want a song, what kind of style do we want? Okay, now it has all different styles, ambient, calm, cinematic, electronic. So let, let's say I'm looking for something happy. I'm doing a happy video, I'm pitching a product, that's the style, and the length, Let's say I want a short song. I'm just introducing a product, one to 30 seconds. Okay, then we're gonna hit generate. It's going to do its thing. And as you know, when we're loading, generating, or rendering, I like to have a sip of Waterloo. Not a sponsor, but a dang good water. Okay, and here it is. Aloof, lovely lemur of excellence. It's in the key of A sharp. You don't have to know any of this stuff. Tempo key, if you're a musician, pretty cool. If not, hit play and see what you got. Welcome to our new experience. Part sauna, part library, part... Okay, so <laughs> that was 16 seconds. I wouldn't necessarily call that happy, so maybe we can try again and see what happens. We still want happy, we want short. Let's try to generate something new and see if a new song comes up. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Now we got something new. Pristine, fierce, agolti of current. Let's try this. Mm. In today's world, you need a beverage that stands out above the rest. Introducing Waterloo, sparkling water, from the heart of Austin, Texas. I like that. So let's use that. So again, this is my first time using this, but let's say I want this song. It would appear I'd go to these three dots. Awesome. We can download the audio. We can download the MIDI. We can delete it. We can rename it or we can adjust the length of BPM. So let's adjust the length. Let's say I want this to be a little bit slower. Maybe it was a little bit up-tempo, a little too energetic. So let's drag it down to 110 beats per minute. And let's just say we're pitching something a little bit longer, maybe something closer to the 30 second mark. Now we can adjust and watch, and boom. So now we have our 30 second version nested under the original. Let's hear this, a little slower and a little longer. In today's world, as the atmosphere grows hotter and the oceans are rising, you need a sparkling water that can quench your thirst and make promises to your heart. Introducing Waterloo, sparkling water from deep within the heart of Texas. Mm-mm, good. Okay, so I like that. That's gonna be good. We have the tempo, we have the time. So now it's as simple as either downloading the audio or deleting. Again, we can rename it. So let's say we're doing a Waterloo ad. Waterloo ad. 
save that. Okay, there it is. And I'm gonna download it, it takes one credit. I have 50 credits remaining. Okay, so it downloaded and that's just gonna be a simple MP3. I can then use that wherever I'm plugging and playing content, whether I'm editing video on an in-app software, whether I'm using something like Adobe, Final Cut, or an AppSumo product, you now have background music. Very cool. I like Soundpiece because it's really simple. It's really intuitive. Let's say you want just uh, chords. So let's see that. We want chords and we want guitar chords and we want short guitar chords. Again, let's delete all this so we're keeping a clean workflow. And I'm gonna delete this just so I'm not getting confused with all of my projects. Okay, we want guitar chords and we want them short and sweet. All right, let's hear this. It's 14 seconds. It's just gonna be guitar chords. Maybe the intro to a podcast. This is The Snack Hour with your host, Jay the Snack Man Stevens. Hey everybody, welcome to The Snack Hour. I'm your host, Jay. There you go, I like that. I could use that. Maybe I should make a podcast called The Snack Hour where I just snack on things. I don't know. I'm just gonna try a couple more examples here because this is actually pretty fun. Beats, guitar beats, I don't know what that would generate. It'd be interesting. But let's just say we want some lo-fi beats. We're selling something cool, sneakers. We're selling sneakers. I like how quickly it generates it too. It doesn't mess around. I don't know what these uh, these titles are, but I kind of like them. Literate, unyielding, cuckoo of perspective. Let's hear this. Brilliant, just brilliant. So there you have it, Soundpiece. It's a great tool for content creators. Even musicians like myself can use this. If you don't want to go and make a long song in something like Logic or Ableton, you can simply do this quick work here and boom, you're good to go. Put it with your video footage and keep moving. And now we have Noteworthy, a meeting productivity platform with real-time transcription, instant sharing, and collaborative minutes. Now in today's economic climate, the only thing better than saving money is saving time. Getting everyone on your team the information they need in a timely and organized fashion is so crucial to the day-to-day -day success of your business. So along those lines, let's see if Noteworthy has something to offer there. Okay, here we are in Noteworthy. So I think what we're gonna find here in Noteworthy is a great opportunity to make note-taking in meetings easy and collaboration easy as well. This seems to be where they nest teams in Noteworthy. So let's just say general, this is organization-wide. So I'm gonna click into that and here's the general team dashboard for my team, which right now is just me, myself and I. So what can we do? We have my meetings right here. We have action items, settings, home, everything like that. Let's get creative and start creating. So you can create a new folder or a new meeting. Let's focus uh, on what Noteworthy does and create a meeting. So we hit new meeting and we are directed to a new page. And you can see right here, first of all, meeting title. So let's say right here, super secret hydration meeting. So you have a meeting title. You have um, files you can attach up here. You have different views. This is a focused view, or if you want, you can have the detailed view. And then you have a share button, which gives you a link, much like Google Docs, or you can allow everyone with access to the link uh, to access it. So there you go. And now you have the agenda and you have action items. So this meeting is super secret, but what's the first agenda is new sparkling water idea. How to market said water. And company fun. Water park. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So now we have an agenda set up here easily. We also can put right now, how long we wanna spend on this. So maybe this is the meat and the potatoes of my meeting. I wanna spend 30 minutes on this, cool. Maybe uh, you can edit here too, you can delete, you can do that kind of stuff. But again, set this, ingredients, maybe we only wanna spend five minutes talking about ingredients, how to market, that's gonna be about 10 minutes, and company fun. What are we at? We're at 40, 45 minutes. We're gonna talk about fun for 15 minutes. So this is an hour long meeting. I think I'm not very good at math, but it looks like an hour. And as you can see, we can check off things as we go. If we hit this play button, it actually starts tracking, which is so cool. So let's say you're in a meeting 
and boom, all of a sudden, I'm also, you can tell, struggling with numbers here. As you're doing this, on the right, you can see there's action items. So you can say, oh, new sparkling water idea. Okay, uh, who's running the company? Create memo. Boom, there's an action item. So you can see that. And then if we click into here, let's see what we can do with that anything. Now you can click into this action item, which is really cool. Who's running the company? Uh, question mark, create memo. You can say when it's due, and there's a little calendar right here, so that's beautiful. Okay, let's make this due. This company runs slow, so this is due August 24th uh, at 5 p.m. You make comments, someone figure this out. And now you can edit assignees. So I'm gonna assign this to myself, because again, I'm the only one in my company. I really like this interface, and this is my first time seeing it, and this is intuitive, even for someone like me, who's terribly organized. I'm a right brain creative, and I feel like I could run a meeting doing this. Here's where it gets cool. Now let's get into uh, probably the best feature, supercharge your minutes with secure live transcription. So all of a sudden, okay, so allow, noteworthy to use your microphone, and then you can just start talking, and you can say, welcome to this meeting. I'm Jay, I'm the CEO right now. We'll see if in an action item that changes or if we hire more people that can actually run the company. But for now, it's me, myself, and I. I'm trying to create a hydration company, a sparkling beverage that's going to compete with the likes of Waterloo, La Croix, Topo Chico, Polar up from New England, uh, Rainwater, you, you name it, Rambler, you know all the good stuff. Okay, and as you can see, we have a transcription right here uh, of the meeting as it's going. So at the end of this meeting, you're gonna have a transcription uh, right there. And again, you can share this right here. Everyone has a link. Uh, everyone can participate in this meeting. So if you're on a Zoom call with your team, whether it's a team of one, two, five, 50, send everyone this link and everyone can be in here following along with the agenda, the action items, and the notes. Or if someone misses the meeting, you can send them this link. They can see everything that was covered, the time it took, uh, the action items that people need to get done, and all of the notes taken. As I said before, I'm not a very organized person. I'm very right-brained, very creative. So any way I can get organized and see something very simply, I like. And this, right off the bat, again, this was my first time going into Noteworthy and checking it out, promise. And this is, this is great. I mean, I figured it all out in like five minutes and that's good for me. It usually takes me five hours to figure this kind of stuff out. So if I had to recommend um, something for meeting notes and transcriptions, uh, this would be awesome. So noteworthy, you have my stamp of approval. And there you have it, Sumo Links. Now don't forget that all the tools we feature on this channel can be found on appsumo.com. Let us know in the comments what tools you're using and loving lately, and make sure you're subscribed to both of our YouTube channels so you never miss out on awesome deals and helpful tips. See you next time. And I feel like I just got home and I feel... I'm gonna get the screen share going. I'm gonna fly high like a Boeing. I'm gonna grow corn like a farmer, growing. Hmm, no, didn't make sense.